Alien base assault. XCOM more produce have gained entrance to an alien base. That's really non-specific, but okay. The control center must be destroyed to render the base inoperative. The mission will terminate when all enemies are eliminated or when you, your squad has returned to the green exit area. So technically, you can go to the base, destroy the control center and leave. And the base will, you know, disappear from the minimap or the minimap, the global view thing, uh, the geoscape. But usually it makes sense to just go through and sweep the whole thing. Oh, we're here. Ram those stun grenades. We're gonna need them. Actually, maybe don't. Because if one of these guys dies, I don't want the grenade randomly going off. That'd be quite bad. It might knock out a whole bunch of our guys, which is not something you want to happen. We spawned right next to each other, which is good. Did anyone spawn downstairs? No. Alright, that's good. What? Where are we? Okay. Tanks first. Nondescript. We don't see anything. That is quite annoying. Like, we don't know what race is here. Plus the tank can't fit through there. That's kind of a waste of time. Alright. Down we go. Just smoke out the entrance way. Once you're a bit further away. Really? You can't throw over the tanks? Um. Pretty annoying. Eh, good enough. Um, maybe the guys in the lower elevator can take care of all of the random crap here. Whoops. Well, okay. He's blocking the elevator now. It's fine. My bad on the misclick. Game is not easy to be precise with. Just because like the, the res is so small. So it can be really easy to be like one screw off because everything's scaled up. And if we get um, Psy attacked, then at least we brought people who are reasonably Psy resilient. So I think I'll just um, get the squads to sort of stick in their configuration for now. So there's like seven or eight people who will be sort of going to the main area. And then there's two squads of three down here. We'll take over the other stuff down there. And this third squad, yeah, third squad of three will take care of this area as well. Slowly fan out. Man, if they have blasters, we're so screwed though. Blasters being the super rocket launcher things, which only the aliens can use at the start. Once you pick it up, you can use it as well after you research it, but that is a lot of movement. Hello, what have we got? Sectoids, okay, so that Psy will matter, the fact that we brought Psy resilient people. More like though it's Cyberdisk, okay. Bit more annoying.
Who has a grenade? You do. Alright. Run up here and chuck it in there. Good boy. Um, we'll still let the rookies take the shots if we can afford to, which I think we can for now. Kobe, nicely done. Aleb and Troy will just stick around there uh, with their friend Gassan? Gassan? I'm not sure how to say that. Walk through, look at window. So, like, I'm familiar with each of these sort of um, modules of the base. I don't really know what they do. Or well, like why they're laid out the way they are, but like I know how they connect. Like if you go up here, it's like a U shape. So keep one guy on the ground floor, sent two up. Well, none of the five units. Up you go. Might have to sprint. So he has more time units. Yeah, just send two there. They'll just chill there until next turn. Uh, these guys are a bit further away, so I might not get them to enter just yet. Alright. Man, I'm quite thirsty. I went on a run, so I guess I'm a little dehydrated. Alright. You check there, no one's there. Uh, I might just get you to stand there for now. And maybe you can go there and look out the window. Same for you. Alright. Wow. So many of them. All right next to each other. Alright. Nothing through the window. Nothing there. Now we'll just get everyone to pile in. Now. And the next one we'll check down all three sections. Cyberdisk is running away. I shoot in the back. Nope. Mm, just ran away. So one nice thing about um, both hover tanks and laser tanks is that the ammo is refilled like automatically without you having to pay anything or you know anything like that. That's super nice. With um, the regular tanks, you have to pay for cannon shells or you have to pay for rockets. But uh, with the upgraded ones, don't have to do that. So it saves actually quite a lot of money. If you fire a lot. Like, this is a door that leads nowhere. Why does it even exist? It's so dumb. Whatever. Get over here. Okay, with him. Uh, you actually just fall back, because you're alone. 
Because on the off chance there's like something when they exit hello like that. We want them to be able to have a chance to either fire back like we just did or have other people there to do it for them. Pop out. I might get him to stay there. This guy can come over as well. Wait. Uh, maybe I should have gone to exit here. That's fine. Yeah, just stay there for now. Oh, jeez. Another five minutes. Um, Anna has 70, that should be enough. So sprint over and kill the guy. And I might get this guy to just watch this elevator exit. Okay. Hello. Mm, Cyberdisk. Probably. Yep. Go to quick love tap. And then head on out. Out. Oh, we're just seeing the guy we already saw. That's fine. Oh, not enough time units. That's actually a problem. Uh, so what we might do is sprint in, gun down the degenerates, and then get to work on that cyber disc or tank, isn't at risk. Uh, people with time units first. Okay, get out the way. You have time units, so you can take a shot as well. Boom, no kaboom. Out the way. Mm, we're running out of people with ideal situations, but it's fine. Kaboom! There we go. Now our dear friend the tank should be safe. And hopefully no blasters, no grenades. Because that would be very unfortunate. Uh, right, done these guys? Yes, I have, alright. I'm really cringing at the fact that all of my guys, well not all of them, but like, an extreme majority of my guys could all die in the same turn. If we got unlucky. Hello. Actually, just, just hit him. Nope. Hit him again. Wow, that was, that was pathetic. Jeez. <laughs> Okay. Um, I did not anticipate both hits doing nothing. This was not in my plans. No one can save him. He has a pistol, he's fine. But still, we should get there for moral support. Just to let the alien know that we stick by our friends. Even when the aliens shoot us in the back. <laughs> Down the hatch. Oh, he's dead. 66 reactions. Not dead. Heavy plasma. Take it out. Please don't miss. Holy shit. Uh, snap? Yeah, okay. So, our friend's dead. That sucks. Down the hatch. Sprint. Down the hatch. Up. 
Sprint. Down the hatch. Alright. One alien sighted in the little observatory room thing. This bit is... nope. Okay, never mind. I was gonna talk about something, but it's not actually there. I thought it was, but it's something else. Um, the easiest way to shoot him is probably from down here. Unfortunately he sees us, but I think that's okay. Yep, it's a pretty easy shot, so... Not too risky. Move out of the way so the tank can come through and scout. Hello. So, uh, the control area is through here and, like, upstairs. So we'll just get most of our guys to sort of start moving in that direction behind the tank. Two wants to party. Sixty-five wants to party. That's unlucky. That's quite unlucky. Kabam! Hit. Kabam! Hit. Really? Hit. Oh come on! Fine, we'll shoot him. Actually, no. Let's hit him. Oh, that's really risky. Just, just kill him. We hit him four times, and he didn't drop unconscious. So. I don't really want to risk more than that. But uh, our isolated friend down here panicked, which is quite unfortunate. Come down. Alright. Tanks. Let's have a look around. There are some people. They don't like us. That's fair enough. Pretty empty. Oh, hello. Let's not be here. Alright, so these guys are not going to be easy to shoot this turn. I might just smoke them out. Like smoke uh, right here. Perfect. Sort of get in position to move next turn. So six guys there. Three guys here. And then we'll, once we've like covered this area, we'll start oh, hello. moving up a bit more aggressively. So someone, oh shit, I forgot I'd already moved these guys. Oh, that's really bad. He's probably going to die. <sighs> God damn it. Okay, well, good luck. Is he actually not going to shoot us? Oh shit, that guy's a blaster. Holy shit. We're grouped up and that guy's a blaster. Where was he? Here. Alright, well, let's just walk up to him and shoot him. And he's dead. Hello. Uh... Come on! He's two meters in front of you. If that. God damn it, tank. I'm really surprised this guy survived though. Probably didn't deserve to, after what I did to him. But he did, so that's great. 
We got three guys to cover this corridor. These three, actually I'll get them to move up with them. And then they'll split off and three you can cover the room, this one, and three can cover um well not cover the three can move uh forward. Okay. Blink. Who has okay reactions? Not you. You panicked? You're even worse. Okay, you'll do. Hello, is anyone home? One alien is home. Not for long. I forgot that that button is the same thing. I wanted him to <laughs> not move sideways, but to sprint. That's fine. Worked out. Oh shit, so I've just moved. Alright. Thank you. Gun him down. Uh, run away? <laughs> Gun him down. You have an okay shot? You do. Gun him down. No line of fire, you serious? Gun him down. Kabam. Problem solved. And we got some more people covering this corridor. Like Troy. Uh, Illy panicked. Why is Anna missing time units? Did she just walk out? I guess she did. Alright. And these guys just moved, yep. Have we missed anybody? Yeah, the tank's not in the best place, but it's fine. I think that's everyone. Except for the guy we killed. Oh, okay. Sectoid Soldier wants to party. I am okay with that. Wow, he just. He just TK'd. He shot his friend in the back. <laughs> That's great. Hello. Oh, we can't actually walk past him. That's pretty funny. Okay, well. Shuffle aside. Let's see if Palov can take the shot. Yeah, he got there eventually. And then figure out who's in this corridor. You don't know, do you? Go on down. That's quite bad. Hover tanks are really expensive and that's a cyber disc and it's probably going to gun us down on the street. Well, it was nice knowing you, buddy. Actually, you have a power suit, you should... Power suit, flank suit, you should be covering the door. People with the most armor should cover the riskiest locations. And these guys can cover your flank. Speaking of risky things, open the door. And get your friends to gun them down. Kill them. Now run away. Tank, go forth. Oh, maybe you can cover your friend. Uh, probably not. I don't think you can shoot from there. Oh god. No. No, nice try. I don't think anyone else can take a shot. It's fine, the tank is sent as a scout for a reason. Like, he's expensive, but ultimately replaceable. Without it being a big deal. Actually, it's a hover tank, it's a pretty big deal. But it's really, really expensive. Maybe he'll live. Maybe the cyber disc won't shoot him. We'll see. I'd be surprised though. Ready. One shot. Navigator, engineer. Three shot, three shot. Oh, he's alive. Probably nearly dead. No, half health. Wow, got really lucky. Actually, let's let's let him take revenge. 
Kabam. And these guys need to start getting stun grenades and stun rods ready. Did you have a stun grenade? No, okay. Because we want to start capturing... Well, start capturing... We want to capture a commander. You don't need the stun rod, buddy. However... Alright, three should be enough, I think. If one of these guys has it, I'll send them to... No, alright, that's fine. Um, and I'll just get them to back off, so they don't get shot through that window again. Next time we breach. Okay, Bruno. Um, send four people, I think. Should be fine. Oh, Troy's crap though. Don't send him. One of you have a stun grenade. Stun rod? Mm, stun grenade is preferred. There we go. 55 though, that's not much to work with time units wise. Maybe I'll just bring the stun rod. Also, it kind of bothers me. The, um, hello. Well, oh, shit. I wasn't ready for this. Nice. Alright. The... I, I'm pretty sure the layout of this thing is not technically symmetrical. I'm not 100% sure on that. Engineer... Not many left. Okay. Now we, we actually don't want to be peeking the corners until we're ready to move in because we don't want to shoot them accidentally. We want to capture them alive, because we need a commander to um, progress on our research. Like, if it comes to it, I'd rather my guys shoot something than die, I guess. So I'm not gonna make them drop their guns, but... Hello, that's a cyber disc, that's really bad. Why is there a cyber disc here? He's actually outright dead. One shot. God damn it. And this guy is lethally wounded. He needs medical attention now. I guess he should run away then. Oh, Bruno was... Bruno was a good dude. That's why everyone's lost so much morale. Is this primed? No, okay, just drop it. Get your med kit over to your friend. Alright. Heal his arm for what you can, that'll make sure it doesn't bleed out. And you can finish the job. Boink. And uh, these guys will have to finish off the cyber disk. And finish off the stunning as well. Not loving that fact. Good. Okay. I'll just wait near the door. Okay, that happened. We only captured one live alien. <laughs> it might not have been the one we wanted. We run out of equipment? Oh, cause um... The cyber disk blew up our friend's corpse. That's... that's actually pretty sad. 
Uh, I'm not gonna refill the stun rod, it's not that important. Uh, stun grenade's pretty nice though. Maybe make a couple more of those. 